And welcome to another episode of Experts Speak. I am Michael Delon, and today I am talking with Drew McWilliams. Drew, thank you, sir, for uh, spending some time with me today. Michael, excited to be on the show. Thank you for having me. Well, you are welcome. It is going to be a vibrant conversation. Drew and I, uh, I think we're, we're, we're brothers from different mothers because we just got the same DNA. We're passionate about marriage. We're passionate about business. And we're passionate about just having fun in life. And uh, Drew has... Wow, he's done so many things. He's a real estate investor. He's he's uh, uh, he's got a franchise of, of daycare systems. He helps entrepreneurs and in, in just helps them grow, build freedom in life, um, passive income, and so much more. I just can't wait to just start uncovering everything. So let, let's just dive in, Drew, to the deep end. Tell me, how, how in the world did you get doing what you're doing today? Yeah, well, I love... I, I have two different loves, Michael. I love entrepreneurship and business ownership, and I have a deep love of real estate. Um, so, you know, how do those two worlds combine? You know, is is a story in itself. I guess we're about to unpack. Absolutely, absolutely. So, well, yeah, I mean, you you you've built some businesses. You've been involved in real estate. Give us a little bit, just a snapshot of of your your history. Sure. Yeah. So let's fill in the gaps, kind of, you know, okay. how to get from how to get from how to get from college, we'll call it, to to today, you know, okay. 25 years later, as I'm in my mid 40s. So uh, my wife and I are actually college sweethearts. Uh, we uh, went to college together, and we were actually a resident assistants in the same dorm hall. So I guess we were somewhat considered responsible young adults uh, whenever uh, we were at a young age, and graduated from college, moved to where we reside, is Charlotte, North Carolina. Love our city. Um, beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, three hours to the mountains, three hours to the beach. Can't get much better than that. Wow. So uh, I started out my my real my journey in life in real estate. So I knew I wanted to do real estate from an early age. Actually, I started uh, in real estate at age 19, leasing apartments. I knew wow. that's what I wanted to do. And then whenever I graduated from college, then I went on to residential real estate sales. My wife was a first grade teacher, uh, had a great career in real estate, got to one of the top uh, sales reps in the entire East Coast uh, for new construction sales by the age of 26, which was a huge honor. And then my wife was a first grade teacher and she came home one day and says and said, I, I've got this calling to work with younger children. And, and the joke in our household is allegedly I said, you're a first grade teacher. There's not any children younger than first grade. Like I, I'm 26. I don't have children yet. I have no idea. And little did I know that her dream was to open up a, a children's preschool business. Uh, and we went down that, that route. So this is where kind of real estate and business ownership started to combine. I kept my real estate career while kind of moonlighting at night and uh, helping my wife open up a children's preschool that is called Ivy Brook Academy, doing all the business operations and account receivable and payable and marketing and and what I consider the fun stuff uh, and what she considers the boring stuff because she wants to be with the children and with the teachers and the curriculum and, uh, you know, uh, a whole whole nother uh, podcast, uh, as we might have talked about earlier in the show, could be devoted to how to stay happily married with your business owner, right? That Man. is a, <laughs> another topic for discussion. That, whew, that's a whole nother 30 minute podcast, but absolutely. Yeah, that's that's yeah. really the intersection of where I'll call it my two careers and 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 passions really um you know intersected I, you know i still love real estate and I'm, i've been actively practicing real estate for 25 years it has morphed and has changed over that 25 years but i also love i love entrepreneurship i love i love not having a boss i'm not gonna lie i mean i it is the middle of the day right now and you know i i'm, I'm talking to you on a podcast which is great so you know the work gets done um you know, there, there's not less work by being an entrepreneur, but what I love is I get to choose the times that I work. And if I choose to work, you know, at, at, at 11 p.m. at night by taking some time out to do a podcast with you now, then then that's my freedom of choice. Right. And, and uh, I love the ability of entrepreneurship and real estate giving me, you know, the ability to, uh, you know, value my time and create my time, but it also has created uh, much different income streams and, and passive income streams for me as well. 
Yeah, that's awesome. I want to I want to hop back onto the passive income stream. So so get me back there. Yeah. When I when I started my company, Drew, back in uh, 2013, actually the year before that, as as I was dreaming and planning, I was I was stuck in prison for two years uh, before I started my company. Not a literal prison. It was a it was an emotional prison because I was in a job that I yeah. hated for two years, and I finally escaped, became an entrepreneur. But one of my one of my my passions, my dreams, my prayers to God was, Lord, I want I want my business to grow and to be in such a form and fashion that I can actually do what I call ministry during the day, so I can meet with people and during the work day or whenever I want, and my business continues to to grow and function. And I'm telling you, I love entrepreneurship because I can do that. So I totally yeah. resonate with what you just said, and I think that's a I think that's a dream for a lot of. Um, entrepreneurs or, or dare I say would be business owners who mm -hmm. don't have the right mindset or the skill set or the the systems in place to create a business that actually functions so that they have that free time because they are slaves to their business. And I know there's a better way to do it. You you've obviously done it multiple times. Let's let's talk a little bit about the the freedom that can come as an entrepreneur, the mindset, the systems. What what can you share with our audience about? How do you build a business that doesn't rely a hundred percent on you? That's a really good question. And, it, and it's one that very rarely people ask me. Um, I think in, in, in the, you know, to the 10th nth of my body, I don't know what the, the exact analogy is. I believe to my core that somebody that is developing a business that they really want to scale a business and and my our preschool business, we're very blessed. We're up to 89 locations uh, across 18 different states. So we've wow. scaled at a very rapid pace. And, and really, my my advice to that is someone that wants to grow and scale and create that ability has to be humble enough to realize what their strengths and weaknesses are. And they have to be able to get out of the way. I've seen amazing, brilliant people that are that are business owners, franchisors, you name it way smarter than me. I, I don't mind taking a little bit of humble pie, way smarter than me, yeah. but they can't get out of their own way. Uh, and those that realize their strengths and their weaknesses and they maximize them to the best of their ability. I know that I am a, I love being an extrovert. I love talking to people. I know that I'm good at sales and I know I can talk to people about real estate. Um, I get by talking to people about marketing and advertising just enough because I have a degree in that. But at the same time, I'm also um, confident enough in myself that I hire marketing agencies that are smarter than me, that are yeah. able to help my franchisees, business owners to be able to take it to the next level. So yeah. that that that's my that's my biggest advice. I, I think that is that is brilliant. I hope people hear that because um, I, one of my marketing uh, mentors is Roy Williams. And he's helped lots of businesses grow and things. But he said he wrote an article one time. He said, your business will grow to the length of your shadow. Ooh, I like and that. I've, I've always remembered that because if I want my business to grow, I've got to get out of the way, right? I've got to get other people who are better at what I do. And, and you don't know me very well because we just met, but I'm only good at four things in life, Drew. Okay, honestly, I'm wicked good at these four things. Outside of that, I am mediocre at best. So I have learned to hire people, to build systems and things, to take care of all that other stuff so I can show up and do things like this. Yeah. And it's it's one of the secrets that really isn't a secret at all, but it does take that humble pie to go, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to let somebody do it better than me. And that's okay. Right. Because that's that's not the goal is to have all the kudos on me, right? It's to yeah. serve lots of people. But let's let's pivot just a tad here about entrepreneurship and, and putting people around you around the idea of of passive income. And, I, and I, I'm hearing more and more about this over the last really two or three years, whether it's through investing in real estate, whether it's investing through a franchise. I know some franchise owners who are passive income. I mean, they own the franchise, but they have people working it for them because Lord knows, dude, I do not want to be in a classroom with preschoolers. Okay. So I am not, I don't want to be part of your franchise system. Oh, but maybe I do because I don't have to be in the classroom. Right. And it can create passive income. Let's talk about that mindset and some opportunities that some business owners just don't even think about in terms of generating more revenue for their, their family. That's right. Yeah. The the thing that I am probably the most excited about is, you know, 
let's shift back to real estate, right? We talked about entrepreneurship and business ownership a little bit. You know, I have been in real estate for for 25 years. I have been a landlord or a real estate investor for whew, 18, 18 years. Okay. Yeah. So I started real estate investing and and what's what's great about real estate investing to me is 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 really threefold. Uh, number one, you have an asset that over time I can think that is going to appreciate, not depreciate like a vehicle, right. right? More millionaires have been made from real estate ownership than anything else in this country. That is a fact. Okay, yeah. so why? Why try to recreate the wheel? If so many people have become millionaires from owning real estate, then I want to jump on that train too. So real estate gives you an, an asset that appreciates. B, it gives you a massive tax write-off, massive tax write-off, okay? And three, it gives you passive income. If you have the ability to put a tenant into a property and it cash flows positive, no matter if it's $100 a month positive or $1,000 a month positive, it is still positive income. So what I've done over the years is buy brick and mortar properties. I own three residential properties. I own four commercial buildings. Uh, and I am in, in a, I'm a limited investor into seven different apartment complexes around the country. And I must say that is probably what I'm the most bullish and excited about, uh, especially where, you know, our, our economy is with, you know, high inflation and High housing prices, I, I don't think are really going to come back down. High interest rates, uh, affordable housing is harder and harder. And to being on the landlord side is is pretty bullish right now, not only now, but also long-term success yeah. as well. Yeah, it's fascinating. So I live in Little Rock, Arkansas, right? And it, it's just interesting yeah. when you put all that together with the housing prices, interest rates, it's hard for people to buy houses. And I just, it dawned on me, we just we just lost, you know, from, from my house about three miles away is a big, you know, uh, um, yeah, stores and, and things. What do you call those places? They have stores and restaurants, that that place. And on my way there a year ago, I passed about, oh, I don't know, 20 acres of just beautiful trees, pine trees, oak trees. I drove by last week. They're all gone. Wow. Guess what they're putting there? More Housing. apartments. And I'm like, why yeah. do, where? Oh, because they can't afford houses and it's a great investment. But but that's that's put in there by people who, you know, have billions of dollars who can invest in that. You you have figured out a way where, dare I say, normal people, entrepreneurs, yeah. can actually be a part of something like that. Generate some. Unpack that a little bit because that's fascinating. Yeah. So I've been doing, and again, this is just going back to business ownership. You know, uh, surround yourself with with people that are smarter than you, and I don't mind saying that. For you know, 15 years, I tried to do the real estate investing on my own. I was successful each time. I'm thankful. But you can only scale so much whenever you own things yourself, right? You're getting out personal loans. You're doing all this. So I have a, a friend, mentor, who has now become a partner uh, in a company that we, we run together. It's called Starting Point Capital. And it's really, I'll call it an educational platform to be able to teach people how to invest in real estate and get passive income. It is everything I do in life is is educational. I, I used to be a used to be a youth pastor. I used to, you know, I, I am an entrepreneur. I teach people how to open businesses. You know, in the real estate world, I teach people how to invest in real estate where they can invest what I would call a much smaller check size than having to go buy a property on their own. They don't have to you know, they don't have to sign their name on a personal guarantee and they can create that cash flow and that long term, you know, revenue stream, which is really lacking, I think, in a lot of people's, you know, portfolios. Um, yeah. So I'm excited about that. So if people want to learn more about that, I'll, I'll share some probably some information and contact uh, notes at the end of our show, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah, it's really cool because, I mean, you're a really intriguing guy because the uh, you know the, the one thing that I, that I learned about you is you have this this string of daycare centers across the, the thing. And I said, dude, I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to be in a classroom with little kids, yeah. right? But there's an opportunity <laughs> there potentially to invest as a franchise. But then, then yeah. you start talking about real estate and owning real estate. And I'm like, dude, other than being in a classroom with a bunch of snotty-nosed kids, I don't want to be a landlord. And you're just like, 
well, you don't have to be a landlord, Michael. There, there are passive ways to do this. And it's like, wait a minute. So you're just like blowing all my bubbles right now, which is good huh. because here's the deal. Here's where I want to go. I think a lot of business owners get locked in their mind. I do this, right? I repair cars. I'm a financial advisor. I am an attorney. I am a, right. and that's all we think about. And, and that's good because, I mean, my business is my cash cow, right? It generates the revenue. It's what I'm wicked good at. But what am I going to do with all this other money over here? Am I going to put in the local savings and loan? Or am I going to try to learn how to do real estate and read a thousand books? Or yeah. am I going to talk to somebody like Drew who's way smarter than me and go, what have you learned and how can I possibly do this? It, it's, it's that mindset aspect of realizing as an entrepreneur, we need to be thinking bigger and bigger and, and putting ourselves. I love that. I just joined a, a coaching program called Strategic Coach. I'm putting myself into a room with about 40 entrepreneurs who are probably all smarter than me because that's where I want to be in the future, right? And yeah. that's kind of what you said. Yeah, that's 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 100%. That's 100% right. So, and that's the whole reason why, you know, this freedom point starting point capital, starting point capital was even created is just to be able to, you know, help people know that there's other opportunities in out there in life and really I'm a very big believer in you know, taking money and investing in Main Street, not in Wall Street. So by doing that and by being able to invest, you know, in 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 housing, you know, in in apartments, um, it gives me the ability to be a investor and appreciate all the the same things we talked about that I've been doing, you know, on my own. I, you know, I get the appreciation, you know, I get the depreciation on my taxes, I get the passive income, but at the same time, I don't have to deal with tenants, termites, and trash. And, <laughs> and I just don't want to do that in life. I'm, I'm just, I'm past the point where, you know, I want someone picking up the phone and, and talking to me about how they can't pay their rent or, you know, why is the light bulb, you know, burn out? Can you come fix it? I'm just not. So yeah. um, now I used to be, I used to be, but you know, it's, it's, it's just where I'm at, I guess, in my career. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think that's great. I love tenants, termites and trash. I, I've never heard that. Yeah. That's great. But it's it's it goes back to that principle. If 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 I want to start, if I want to add real estate investing to my portfolio, yeah, I can either go through the school of hard knocks and read all the books, go to the seminars, or right. I can reach out to Drew and say, okay, Drew, here's what I'm thinking. Does it even make sense based on my value system, based on my risk tolerance, based on our money, based on here's what we're thinking. And and I assume you're you're strong enough in character to go, yeah, Michael, based on what you're telling me, that's real estate's not the place for you because you don't like whatever, but this might be. Or, yeah, Michael, we need to have some conversations because it could be something that you would 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 benefit from. Is that fair? Yeah, that's a hundred percent it. And and education, no matter what I do in life, whether it's for business ownership or you know, franchising or for real estate, my services are free. My time is free that I give to people. So uh, I have never, never done anything or, 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 you know, you know, paid for coaching, I'll call it, or, or invoiced for coaching. I just want to be able to educate people to make the best informed decision to have them set themselves up for success. Some things are meant for people. Some things are not meant for people, but I think that's equally important, right. To go down the process and, 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 and learn. And, and there's, there's nothing wrong with seeking out advice. And if it doesn't work, and doesn't fit your portfolio or you know your wheelhouse that's that's equally good education that that's fine too i think some i think all of us can probably say the biggest learning lessons we have in life are maybe from some things that didn't work out right because it's going to burn it's going to hurt and it's going to make you not want to make that mistake again so learn everything in advance before you have to go through that heartache yeah no and and i love that and i love the educational aspect of it and i think i mean I don't know why entrepreneurs, we tend to be risk takers, but I, I think mm. where some people don't want to take risks is we don't want to reach out and have that conversation. And yeah. I don't know if it's because I feel that I'm wasting your time or I feel that you're going to get me into this dark hole and twist my arm and make me sign some paper or something. I don't know why we we don't just reach out and go, you know what? I'm When it comes to real estate investing passively, and I will just share this open, I'm ignorant. Yeah, I've just never done it. And buying that first property or invest, I mean, that is scary. What if I, what if, what if, right? And we get locked into that versus saying, well, what if I just reach out to Drew and have a conversation and realize in my head, that's going to be the first of maybe 10 conversations. Right. What if I do that? Is that, is that fair to say, 
let's just take one baby step, realizing in that first step, I'm probably not writing you a check, right? And that's okay. That's okay. Let's talk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think ever in my life I've ever asked somebody for a check. So even when I was selling real estate 25 years ago, it's just you provide people education, yeah. you provide people opportunities and let them make informed decisions. People are smart enough. They don't need sold, right? Yeah, and 100%. I, I, I'll tell you the last four cars that I have bought, I, I've never gone to the dealership. I mean, yeah. you just do the, you can just do the education and you buy things online these days. So yeah. nobody wants to be sold. Everybody nobody wants, wants information and everybody wants education. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I love that. You know, in, in my, in my sales process for what we do with, with helping people become uh, authors, I always tell them up front on the, on the sales call, whatever. Yeah. I, said, I, I said, Drew, here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do on this call. And my closing question, by the way, Drew is going to be this, Drew, what would you like to do? Because by then we both know whether this is the next right step or whether the timing's not right. I'm okay with that. And what it does is it just lowers all anxiety. And now we can have a conversation to say, what what are you trying to make happen? Is this right? And I, I think that I, I feel that from you that if somebody's out there and they've thought about it, I mean, Uncle Harry is building his real estate portfolio or whatever, and you want to, but you don't really know what to do or who you can talk to. I mean, I think Drew might be a really good next step for you to have that conversation and, and just to have a to have the conversation because that's really where it starts, whether it's real estate investing or, or you might find, you know, I don't like that, but I really want to own a franchise. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, is it, is that about the right pathway that somebody should take? What? And let me ask you this before somebody reaches out to you, What's going on in their mind, their heart, their their soul? What are, what are they kind of thinking through, struggling with, or desiring before they would reach out to you and have that conversation? Yeah, on the real estate side, you know, most of the people that I I work with and I help, you know, they're they're definitely corporate America folks. I mean, they they just yeah. are. You know, they they've been in corporate America. They have a, a successful career. Uh, they've invested a ton in Wall Street. They want to invest in real estate. They understand real estate is wildly successful and it's a long-term play. It's not a get rich quick overnight play yeah. like investing in a .com, but they don't know where to start. Um, and that's the whole reason why we you know, created the company called Starting Point. Yeah. It's a starting point. They don't know where to start uh, and they really just, they want to get involved and they want to you know, learn where to go. So I, I don't know how to describe it any more simplistic than that. So we we offer ourselves up as just kind of a valuable resource. If someone is too scared to talk to us, guess what? We have a free book download. You want to download a free ebook of 25 pages and learn how to do it yourself? Fine. It's on my LinkedIn account. Grab it. I, I it's I just I just want to help others. And guess what? When you help others, it's all gets you know it gets paid for. It gets paid in return for sure. It does. It it, it really does. And the and the cool thing about Working with somebody like you, Drew, whether it's it's real estate, whether it's franchise, or whether it's just talking about business, is is you are educational. You you are step by step. And I think about you know investing in real estate. And and I, you said it earlier. You can get involved in in investing in real estate for less than a down payment on a house. So it's not like you have to go all in and go. No, I'm really leveraged. It's like no, no. There are yeah. there are lots of ways <laughs> to invest that you you have probably Drew forgotten more about real estate and investing in real estate than I will ever know. Just because you've done it for 25 years. Yeah. I think from an outside perspective, we we look at it and we say, well, there's one or two ways to do it. And Drew mm -hmm. would probably tell you, no, there are probably 20 or 30 ways to do it. it just oh, there's so many different ways. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got a piece of dirt. I'm, I'm working on doing a commercial land lease right now. So the property comes back to me in, in 25 years and the asset that is put on top of the dirt, I own. So there's there's so many different ways to structure passive income and real estate deals out there. Yeah, and th and that's the cool thing of working with an expert and yeah. somebody like Drew who really just understands this inside and out to say it. There, th yeah, it 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 really it it gives you the freedom of time because you've got the passive income. It helps you with taxes and it really broadens that portfolio base without you having to spend so much time managing it, dare I say, or managing that portfolio, because it's yeah. going to work, right? That's correct. That's exactly right. And, and that's something that I learned years ago for me personally. You know, Scripture says that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And mm -hmm. I've met some people like you and other people who, I mean, I know one guy, he owns like seven businesses. And I sit here and I go, how do you do that, right? 
for me, I can do one thing really, really well. And anytime I've ventured away from what I do, they both kind of go down. And so I've just realized I've got to do this awesomely. Then I can do on the side and say, Drew, here, take 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 some of my money and you go do it in real estate. I know what's going on, but I don't have to deal with it. Just send me the check, right? Yeah. And there are ways to do things like that. So let me let me just encourage you, if you're listening to this, take the step and just, just have a conversation. Go to his LinkedIn profile. Go to his website. Get that free uh, ebook download. And start moving down the roadway of saying, where would I start if I want to increase some passive income in my life, in my portfolio? Where's the starting point? Well, I think it's with Drew and starting point financial, uh, starting point capital, starting point capital, right? I think, that, I think, I think that's the starting point to, um, to help build passive income. Keep doing what you're doing. Grow and do it over time because slow and steady wins the race, right? They'll, is that the rabbit and the hare? That's slow right. And, steady? and it sounds like that's really from the educational perspective you come from, that's really w one of the greatest values you're going to have for people is, is the mindset, comforting them. Drew's an expert in, in, in helping people take these steps and make sure it's right for you. So if, if you're interested in that, Drew, where where would they go to find that information? Take that next step, maybe schedule a call. What what would be the next step for somebody? Yeah, multiple different ways. You know, I am very active on LinkedIn, uh, both for my um, entrepreneur side and also for the real estate side. So it is just Drew McWilliams. Uh, you will see me on LinkedIn. I'll have the designation of CFE, which is I'm a certified franchise expert. Uh, titled next to my name. You'll be able to find uh, the websites for both companies that I, I work with, both for Ivy Brook Academy and both for Starting Point Capital, which is the real estate educational and investment platform. Excellent. Okay. So LinkedIn is probably the best place to go because from there, you're going to get uh, connected with Drew. I'm going to make sure, Drew, that we have that in the show notes. So as, as our, I mean, our listeners are entrepreneurs, they're busy running businesses and, and doing all kinds of things. So um, we, if this is interesting, go to the show notes, connect with him, or just go to LinkedIn. I mean, I don't know how many Drew McWilliamses there are out there, but you'll find him very quickly. Have the conversation. Start start thinking about how do you create passive income? Where is the starting point for you to take what you have and start adding to it in a very I'd say structured, dare I say simple format, because Drew has already knocked down all the barriers. He's probably got all, all the answers to the questions you have. And it's really just building a relationship with somebody you can trust to guide you down the process, answer your questions and decide for yourself, is this something I want to do? So reach out to Drew on LinkedIn and we'll make sure that the um, links are there in the show notes. Drew, thank you, man. This has been a ton of fun. Well, Michael, thanks for having me. Hope uh, your audience and listener base was able to gain something of value today. And again, just appreciate the time and all the education that you give back to others. Well, you're welcome. I'll tell you, buddy, if 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 they were listening, they got value, okay? <laughs> you just dropped a bunch of uh, great content on us, great information, added some value. And I just want to encourage people to to take that next step, find the starting point for passive income, and a great life with Drew McWilliams. Reach out to him on LinkedIn. Thanks for listening to Experts Speak. We'll be back next week. God bless.